Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, February the 6th. I've got an old friend of mine here, Richie Van Sack with us. Good to have you here, Richie. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, you were over at KBIA for a while. Now you're at the Rainbow House. Yeah, I'm on this side of the microphone now. Right, right. you. So the Rainbow House is a wonderful organization. Tell our, our listeners about it. Rainbow House is an amazing place. There are a couple of things that happen uh, there, a couple different programs at work. We have our CAC, that's our Children's Advocacy Center. We serve 11 counties. Uh, That's where our forensic interviewers and professionals investigate any report of uh, child abuse or neglect. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, we do serve 11 counties there. Um, We also have the Children's Homeless Shelter. Right. We serve the same 11 counties. Those are kids primarily from Columbia. And, you know, all of this takes up a great deal of money. It does. And and volunteers who also help out, too. But you're having, to to raise this money, to make it all possible, you're having a big fundraiser. We do. We have a few fundraisers throughout the year. The Masquerade Ball is our biggest. Yeah. Uh, This this year's uh, Masquerade Ball will be on April 4th. It's okay. the 13th annual event that we'll have. And what is the theme of the Masquerade Ball? Greece is the theme. The, the motion picture or the musical Greece? Yes, with okay. Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. Not not the country, but right, right, Greece, right. Greece Lightning. And I still have to watch the movie. Jody you haven't loves seen it. that movie? I haven't seen it. Oh, you better My see it before it. the Masquerade Ball. Definitely. I so, so people coming to the Masquerade Ball are coming as characters from Greece? They can. That's uh, an optional. Yeah, you can come addressed uh, in Greece attire. Yeah. With or fifties attire, maybe a soda jerk. Or okay. A... And you will have dance music from that era. Yeah. Okay. What else will be going on? Uh, there are a lot of things going on at the Masquerade Ball. We'll have a dinner, and a bar, uh, silent auction items, and live auction items. And those are you can see those items at RainbowHouseColumbia.org. Mm-hmm. We'll have all those items up so you can take a look. And uh, a lot of things happen at the Masquerade Ball. It's a fun night. So how much money are you hoping that you'll raise? We, uh, in past Masquerade Balls, it, it, they've raised somewhere around $100,000. Really? It's grown to a huge event, yeah. it's. So it, you're hoping that you will raise $100,000 or more? We would hope to, like, net, you know, $100,000 because uh, there's just such a need for funding for the, the groups. And, of course, we're an independent Organization, we don't rely on a national or a statewide right. organization. Every, all of our funds are are raised locally. Okay, so if people want to help the Rainbow House, you can do it in one of many different ways. Really, you can donate to the Rainbow House. You can donate your time as volunteering, or you can sign up to go to the Rainbow uh, to the Rainbow House uh, Masquerade Ball. Yeah, that'd which be is great. When? It's April fourth. Okay. And just for a while yet, we'll still have some early bird pricing until about Valentine's Day. Okay. And the location is where? That'll be at the Holiday Inn Executive Center again this year. In the big... Uh, the big room, yeah. Big we'll have a, a smaller room also with the silent auction items. Okay. So if you want to make reservations, you can do that now. And they've got special prices. You say early bird prices. Some early until, bird pricing for until tickets. Until about Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. That's for tickets and tables. All right. And the best thing to do is go to the website. Go to rainbowhousecolumbia.org. You can also see all the all the auction items available. Right. Ricky, Richie, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks, Paul. And best of luck with the Rainbow House. Thanks so much. Okay. Again, if you want that uh, the uh, web address, it's Rainbow House Columbia. you got to spell it out, Columbia. Rainbowhousecolumbia.org. All the information will be on there. You can make your reservations for the... Um, for the special event, the Masquerade Ball, and up until Valentine's Day, they got special prices on the ticket, too. Well, look who came in here, David Crespi. Good to have you here, David. Great to be here. Uh, MU Theater. MU Theater, and I'm here to talk about the Mizzou New Play series. What is the Mizzou New Play theory? It's 26 new plays in a single week in concert performance. I can't believe you're going to do 26. <laughs> 26 new plays? Now, are th- these aren't all full-length plays. No, they're not. So there's one acts, there's 10-minute uh, plays, uh, there are some full-length plays, and um, we've been doing this for about 21 years. Um, it's part of Mizzou's award-winning Writing for Performance program, mm-hmm. which won the gold medallion from the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival in 2017. Mm-hmm. So... Um, 
the plays uh, explore issues such as, I'm going to read this because there's so many different plays, such as Crazy Squirrels, Hansel and Gretel, Feminisms and Gender Identity, Goldilocks, Advocacy for Disabled Adults, Stray Cats, The Women of the Bible, Ken and G.I. Joe, Women's Right to Choose and Pro-Life Advocates, Ancient Hasidic Traditions, Skinwalkers, Generalized Anxiety Disorder, Mind Reading Powers, Aliens and Record Shops, Cat Ladies and Gothic Horror, a woman who eats whole farm animals and talking lobsters. <laughs> so you, I mean, you, you covered every base there is. So anything, anything you're interested in, you're going to find it in one of those plays. And these are about four of these plays have just already won in the 2020 Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival. They've been recognized. One of them is slated as a national semifinalist. Wow! So, now, very exciting. The 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 26 plays you said. Yeah. 26 plays. Are some of the people in multiple plays? Yes, they are. And we limit them to five roles each because they can't remember all their different parts. They don't, they don't memorize their lines, but they have to remember like which play they're in. What do you mean they don't memorize their lines? The, the, these are scripted concert readings. So okay. the actors are at music stands. They're performing. Oh, it's um, almost like you're doing a radio drama. Exactly. exactly. That's how we get away with it. So they're concert performances. The actors are, are performing in front of music stands at, at, you know, at stools. Are there sound effects too? There are sound effects described by the actors who are doing the stage direction. So they actually describe what's happening. Sometimes they'll make an effect, but it's a little bit like Orson Welles' Mercury Theater on the right, air. Right. Yeah. But oh, this is neat because you're you're. It's a throwback to the radio days. It is of when you listen to a a production on the radio you had to use your imagination exactly and you're not old enough to remember that i'm not but no, i have I listened do. to it yeah. i do remember that wow. listening on the radio uh back in the early late 40s early 50s i remember listening to a uh, fibber mcgee and molly was yeah, one sure. show yeah. that comes out in my head and if you had to imagine everything whatever that closet was open you're familiar with fibber mcgee yeah and molly, sure right whenever that closet door was open all these things came pouring out and on the radio, you heard the sound effects, and you had to paint that picture in your mind. Yeah, yeah. And so this is what you'll be doing. This is exactly what we're doing. And it opens February 12th and runs through the 15th at 7.30. Okay. And then on February 15th and 16th, we have 2 o'clock p.m. matinees. Uh, tickets are 7 bucks ahead of time. You can get your tickets at theater.missouri.edu. Okay, and theater is with an R-E. That's right. Theater.missouri.edu. Thank you so much for coming My by. My pleasure. Break uh, 26 legs there. Okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Joan Stack tomorrow. Bye-bye.